Hello there. Um, so it seems my awesome technology yesterday wasn't what I thought it was. Um, and so, so I'm really excited. Tomorrow is the solstice and I feel like we've really dug a deep path into the solstice for ourselves. Uh, we've moved, we've connected and um, yeah, it's beautiful. So one of the first things I'm going to do this morning is, um, hold on a second, oh, my technology. Uh, so I'm in the Sunday Times today um, and I'm going to show my parents and it's really exciting. I said the first thing this morning, my high on priority list. Um, and then tomorrow we have the solstice class. So this is what I thought I was doing yesterday. I was showing you pictures. You see, so it's tomorrow's solstice class, four o'clock, but it's up always on YouTube. Um, so if you're not zooming in or being there live, it's there. Okay. And then tomorrow evening, um, there is Soma Solstice with Yosef. It's a free Zoom tribal uh, music with breathing. Um, should be really beautiful. Um, and then we have the 26th of December at three o'clock. Uh, recover, recuperate, regroup, uh, realign, <laughs> um, all those things. Um, and then, dun, dun, dun. January 1st flow, oh, we're back in, back into the routine and the rhythm and the flow and the, yeah, just like back in 20 minutes every morning and we will glide and guide and really kind of navigate our way through January with that as an anchor. Um, so cool guys, um, that worked this time, which is really cool. Um, and uh, so great, come, let's move. Um, so come down into your child's pose. Come all the way down. Uh, arms are long in front of you. Head is dropping down. And just feel your bum descend down towards your heels. As always, you can bend your elbows. You can be a little bit more forward if your knees and feet need it. Or you can bring your arms back beside you. There's always this glorious um, meeting of mind and matter in the child's pose. So just notice the quality of the movement in your mind. Uh, check in with the sense of your breath in your belly. And just allow gravity to soften you in or settle you in a little bit deeper. Listening, connecting, really deeply being in your body. Nice. So bring your hands forward into a cat pose and then rounding your back, tuck your chin under, looking towards your navel, lifting your chest, arching your back, look forward. Listen to the song of your spine. Listening to the movement of the deep of you as you round as you arch one more time arching and rounding nice so bring your right fist to the floor and draw your right elbow back like a bow and arrow or a lawnmower so you've pulled your right elbow back and then glide your right hand forward reach it forward and then slowly listening to your shoulder descend your right armpit in the direction of the floor and then pull your elbow back into lawnmower and then stretch your arm out and descend gently. So always these movements, pull your elbow back. They're sustainable, long-term, steady, progressive practice. Draw your elbow back one last time, reaching it forward. Nice, change. Bring your left fist to the floor, pull it back. And then reach forward and lean in. And again, and pull it back. And what's really important is one side is different from the other. Uh, and you're listening to that variation, that difference. You're acknowledging it in pushing less on your more constricted side or really deepening into your freer side. And just move one more time, pull your elbow back. And then gliding forward. 
Oh, yum. Bring both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog. And as always, just either find stillness, if stillness is what inspires you right now, or have a bit of a wiggle. And just feel a uh, sense of your spine, the movement possibilities through the side body, the front, the back, you know, using your legs, really find what awakens you, what connects you. We're all really different. You know, your pattern of connection will be different from mine. Nice, walk your feet forward and bring your elbows to your knees. So stay there if that feels deep enough or begin to descend your bum down and come into a squatting position. Make fists out of your hands and roll. Remember, leave your elbows on your knees if you know that your elbow, your knees or your hips or your lower back doesn't like this. And then roll in the other direction. Oh, really connecting into the movement and just feel your wrists opening and lengthening. Open your fingers, close them in. Open your fingers, close them in. Nice, stretching through your legs and rolling up. Come to the front of your mat. So standing to the front of your mat, you're standing tall, your feet are steady on the floor and reach your arms wide, bring your palms together and get really tall up towards the ceiling. And then bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor, the forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, stretch your right leg long behind you and step it back into a lunge. Step back into a plank. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. And bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. I was saying yesterday that the month of deep has really change the way I make this movement because we've done it every single day. So push your elbows down, draw your shoulders away from your ears and get tall and look way down the beach. And just feel your breath in your belly. So really start to breathe a bit deeper down into the deep of your belly. Feel it push into the floor, feel it widen into the lower back. Nice, bring your Lower down your head, bring your right hand to the floor. Look down the beach for your swim buddy in one direction. And then coming back. And then bring your left hand to the floor and look down the beach in the other direction. Swim buddy, where are you? <laughs> Elbows to the floor, nice. Push your hands back, all the way back into your downward dog. Mm, stretching long through your legs. And then step your right foot forward or bring your knees to the floor and help your foot forward. You can rise up to step your foot forward and then step forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Hands to the floor, stretch your left leg back. Step your right leg back. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor, elbows underneath your shoulders, rise and look away down the beach. Nice, bring your right hand to the floor beside you. If you feel, I know that your spine is it's strong enough when you just look down over towards the right or bend your right knee and look down towards the right. And you're imagining that your foot is gently moving towards the back of your head or something like that. <laughs> Nice, lowering down, other side. Bring your left hand to the floor and look way down the beach and stay there if that's enough or bend your left knee and just feel into the front of your hip and your belly as you do that. Nice, and coming back. Push your elbows down, push back, push back, push back. Find the deep of you here. You're really feeling your breath, knowing your wellness. Where are you well right now? Where in your body are you resourced, resilient, connected, warm? Can you feel the floor? It's all, wellness is such a randomly beautiful sensation. It could literally just be the feeling of your yoga mat underneath your hands. 
Drop your knees to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Step forward. Rising up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Hands come all the way down. Nice. Rolling down through your spine, bring your hands to the floor. Step the left foot back. Drop your left knee to the floor. And then reverse backwards so that you're upright. You're resting on the left knee and your right knee is bent. Reach both hands forward and then up towards the ceiling, reaching up deeply towards the ceiling. Nice. And then bring your arms again straight forward in front of you. Pull the right elbow back into lawnmower or bow and arrow. Bring your fingers to your right waist and hold there. And then reach your left hand up, feeling the length of your belly. And then bend your left elbow and bring it down either to your thigh on the right or to the outside of your knee on the right. Depends on the flexibility of your spine this morning. Reaching up. Maybe it's going to change as we do it. And draw your elbow down. Reaching up. You can lean a little bit more into your hips if you wish. And the elbow down. One more time. Reaching up. And then elbow all the way down. Either top of your forearm is on your knee or your elbows to the outside of your knee. And then draw your right shoulder back and twist a little bit deeper. You can bring your hand to your face. <laughs> it's quite cute. I really feel like you're turning your torso towards the, the right of you. So this is kind of leaning back into the right. You're kind of looking back towards that left foot. Nice. Bring both hands to the floor. Stretch your back leg. Step forward. Slowly rolling up, rounding your back as you roll. Reach your arms wide. Palms come together. Get super long as you reach up. And then bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down. Bring your right foot back into a lunge. Drop your right knee to the floor. Rising up. Reach both hands forward. And then up towards the ceiling. And just feel the length of the front of you. You can lean into your hips if you wish. Or just feel the length rising from your hips into your fingertips. Nice. Bring your hands forward in front of you. Draw the left elbow back into a bow and arrow. Hold on to your hip. And then reach your right hand up. Gliding up. And then dive with your right elbow to the either rest your forearm on your leg or draw your elbow to the outside of your knee and then reaching up use your breath connecting into it draw your elbow down to the outside of your knee and again feeling your breath as you rise and again draw your elbow down and this time we pause you can draw that left shoulder back you can bend your front knee a bit more you can bring your hand to rest on your face i think it's so cute You're turning your chest to look back at that right foot. Turning your head gently and steadily. Nice. Bring both hands to the floor. Stretch your back leg. Step backwards. And just pause for a moment. Nice. So drop both knees to the floor. So keeping your knees in the middle, Bring your feet off your mat, so it's a bit like feet are off your mat and wider. And then stretch the right leg long and bring your right hand to your hip so you're sideways on your mat. So my left hand, left knee, and right foot are all in one line. Nice. And then reach long into your right hand, reaching up. Glide your arm over your ear. And now we're going to swing. So bring your right hand down towards your foot and then swing it up and find length. I love pushing into my toes and getting longer. Reaching down, touch, and lengthen, using your breath, reaching down, touch, and really feel your stretch. Maybe you're starting to turn even towards the ceiling a little bit more, reaching down, lengthen, find the length of it, the reach of it, the stretch of it. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Both knees to the floor, feet are still wide, other side. Stretch the left leg long, so your right hand, right knee, and left foot are all on the right side of your mat. Bring your left hand to your hip. Stretch your left hand up and then reach it over your ear. And then glide, bring your fingers down towards your left foot. 
reaching long and overhead. Reaching down towards your foot, find your breath. Reaching long, connect the whole side of your body, like feel how it's so elastic feeling. The whole of that side of your body is stretching and lengthening. One more time. Down, up and long and feel it. Really connect into it. Nice, both hands to the floor. Come sit on your mat. So stretch your legs out long in front of you. And just roll your shoulders, big circle. Feel your breath. Really inhabit yourself with your breath. Really be in your body with your breath. And then roll in the other direction. And just feeling, you know, that deep sense of shoulders moving, being sitting on the floor, really breathing into your belly. Nice. So bring both hands forward in front of you. And then pull the right elbow back into bow and arrow or lawnmower, whichever one you connect with. Bring your fingers to the floor behind you and bring your left hand to the outside of your knee and turn your chest towards the right. You're getting really tall. You're getting longer. Nice. And then soften your spine and bring both hands around six or maybe nine inches out from your side bend your left knee so your foot is standing on the floor and my toes are just out from my right knee and so drop your head down push into your hands lift your bum and then come back so as always like yesterday if you kind of fling yourself a little bit the momentum helps you lift so drop your hands lift your bum come back and drop your hands lift your bum come back one more time Drop your hands, lift your bum, coming all the way back. Nice, other side, stretch both legs long, bring both arms forward in front of you, draw the left elbow back. Bring your fingertips to the floor, hold your right hand to the outside of the left knee and just twist and feel really, oh, I always feel so graceful in a twist, it's quite amazing. It's like the, the form in my body just feels something deep. Inhabit your breath, really feel the deep of your breath. Nice. Soften the twist, drop your head a little bit, bring both hands to the floor and six, nine inches out. Bend your right knee so your foot is on the floor, lift your bum. And then pull back and then drop and lift. So fling your hands, lift your bum. <laughs> Fling your hands, lift your bum. One more time. Mm, hands, lift your bum. And come all the way back. Nice. So come lie on the floor. Beautiful. How cool. So come lie on the floor. Your knees are bent. Your feet are flat on the floor. Arms are wide out beside you. So your palms are facing the ceiling. And then drop both knees down to the right. And come back up to center and drop both knees down towards the left and center and then just begin to sway like it's like um i always see rolling pins <laughs> so imagine that it's the rolling pin slowly massaging across your lower back or the the weight of your body traveling is really deeply nourishing and nurturing for your lower back and your buttocks there's a sense of the the very fibers of the muscles softening, the fascia, the skin, everything is becoming juicy and connected. As you sway your knees from one side to the other. So we're gonna bring it on another step. We're gonna do this gliding twist. So drop both knees down to the right. And then the left foot comes to the right foot and the left foot comes to the right knee. And then your knee travels up towards your right shoulder and then glide all the way back. Other side, drop your knees down towards the left. Glide the right knee up towards your left shoulder. And coming all the way back and just glide. Really feel the deep of you as you do this. Notice your shoulders. We've been noticing that all month. Can you keep your shoulders on the floor? 
as you glide? Can you make the movement happen or make the move? Can you inspire the movement to happen down into the rib cage more, down into the hip and the pelvis? Because when your shoulder moves, you means that you're moving like a chunk rather than like an accordion. So we're looking to be more like accordions. But you know, you might find that one shoulder really doesn't feel well if it stays on the floor. Adjust accordingly. That was super cool. Come back to center. So both feet are on the floor, roll up along your spine, traveling up. Just feel the squeeze of your buttocks, the length of your legs, push your heels a little bit more into the floor. And then rolling down along your spine, massaging deeply. And again, traveling up along your spine. Heels are strong, feet are strong. And this movement, if it's one inch off the floor that you lift, awesome. If it's 10, awesome. Let me find your expression slowly rolling up. And traveling all the way down. Super cool. Draw both knees up onto your chest, squeeze them in. And then roll over onto your side or do whatever it is that you do and come up into a seated position. Legs can be long, you can be in a cross-legged position and then just bring one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. And just feel the life as it moves within you. And that sense of your heartbeat, uh, the movement of your breath, the warmth between your hands and your chest and your hands and your belly. That something that is moving, it's like this tremulous vibration, uh, this vi vibrancy, a potency, um, a fullness in your hands that is your life in this moment. I love that, you know, your life is in your hands, literally right now, so hold it, treasure it. And then just notice what you're grateful for today. And just breathe into that gratitude, let your heart swell with it. Just be grateful. one day to the solstice. Um, so amazingly deep in its reset. Open your eyes, just stretch your legs long, your arms long, bind your length. <sighs> and then have an amazing day. Um, and do, do you, <laughs> uh, be you and uh, be awesome at it. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, perhaps I'll see you all tomorrow afternoon as well. Um, great. Be well, and I will see you then. There you go. <laughs>